Hello all, Elite DSP here. Today I'm bringing you an advanced gearing guide for the Jade Harvester build. These are the exact stats I look for when picking up my gear for greater 40 and above. In this video we'll talk about all the best in slot pieces in detail, and then we'll talk about some of the secondary options that you can do in case you haven't found those best in slot pieces. Some of the basic gearing goals are to get over 400k HP, 30% CDR at a minimum, and as much damage as possible. Now my current gear has just a little over 400k HP, about 44% CDR, and about 1.2 million sheet DPS. But what you guys want to know is what stats to get on your gear so that you can get to up to these levels. First off, it's called the Jade Harvester build because it centers around the Jade Harvester set 6 piece. To get those 6 pieces you need 5 pieces of Jade Harvester and a Ring of Royal Grandeur. The first piece of Jade that we're going to talk about are the Jade Gloves. Now for primaries, you want Intellect, which rolls up to 750, then Crit Hit Chance, which rolls up to 10%, then crit hit damage, which rolls up to 50%, and then cooldown reduction, which rolls up to 8%. Now if you can't get all four of these, what you're going to want to do is throw in some defensive stats. First is vitality, which rolls up to 750, and then armor, which rolls up to about 400, and then lastly, you want to have all resist, which rolls up to 100. For secondaries, you want to have a single resist, like my arcane resist that I have, that rolls up to 160, and then pickup radius, which rolls either 1 or 2. Next we have the Jade Shoulders. For primaries, you're going to want Intellect, which rolls up to 500, Haunt Damage, which rolls up to 15%, Cooldown Reduction, which rolls up to 8%, and then a Defensive. Vitality is your best Defensive, which rolls up to 500, and then Armor, which rolls up to about 400, and All Resist, which rolls up to 100. For secondaries, just like the gloves, you're going to want a single resist, which rolls to 160, and pickup radius, which rolls from 1 to 2. For Jade Harvester Boots, you're going to want to roll almost all defensive stats. Primaries, you have Intellect, which rolls up to 500, then Vitality, which rolls up to 500, Armor, which rolls up to 400, and All Resist, which rolls up to 100. If you can't get one of these stats, you're going to want to roll Movement Speed, which rolls up to 12%. For secondaries, you want to run with pickup radius, and health globe bonus. Next you're going to want to get Jade Harvester Pants. For the primaries you're going to want to have Intellect which rolls up to 500, then two sockets, Vitality which rolls up to 500, and Armor which rolls up to 600. If you can't get one of these, go ahead and get All Resist which rolls up to 100. For your secondaries you want a single resist and pickup radius. The last piece of Jade that we have is the Jade Chest. For primaries you want Intellect which rolls up to 500, three sockets, Vitality, which rolls up to 500, and Haunt Damage, which rolls up to 15%. If you can't get these, then you're going to want to get Defenses, which means Armor, which rolls up to about 600, or All Resist, which rolls up to 100. Your secondaries on the chest are a little more interesting. Chests can roll Melee Damage Reduction and Range Damage Reduction. And, since they're very strong, you're going to want both. Melee first, Range second. If you can't get these, then you go Single Resist and Pickup Radius. Instead of using the Jade Helm, you're going to want to use the Quits Cuddle Helm. The secondary on it effectively doubles your damage of your dots and your soul harvest. The primaries you want to roll in the Quet Scuttle Helm are Int, which rolls up to 750, a Socket, Crit Chance, which rolls up to 6%, and Vitality, which rolls up to 750. If you can't get these, go ahead and do All Res, which rolls up to 100, and Armor, which rolls up to about 400. The reason you want a Socket over Crit Chance is because a Socket gives you 12.5% CDR whereas crit chance only gives you 6%. The 12.5% is the highest you can get off any single piece for CDR. That's a big deal. For your secondaries, you only get one choice. Uh, single resist is your strongest choice, but if you can't get that, hopefully you can get pickup radius. For wrists, you want to use strong arm bracers. Strong arms have a secondary that whenever an enemy is moved by a spell and ability, you gain a, f a 20 to 30% damage increase for 5 seconds. Now, Pranado Proxus, so does S of Johan if you're using that on your follower. For primaries, you want Int, which rolls up to 500, Cold Damage, which rolls up to 20%, Crit Chance, which rolls up to 6%, and Vitality, which rolls up to 500. If you can't get one of these, go ahead and get All Resist, which rolls up to 100, or Armor, which rolls up to about 400. For secondaries, Bracers can roll both Melee Damage Reduction and Range Damage Reduction, just like Chests. So, Strong arms only have one choice, 
So you'd like to get melee damage reduction, if you can, get range damage reduction, and if you can't get that, get a single resist. If you can't get a good pair of strong arms, then use slave bonds. Slave bonds are good because they have a fifth primary stat. For your fifth stat, you want a defensive stat. So either make that armor or all resist. Next we have belts. Belts are one of the most controversial topics for Jade. The choices are either String of Ears or Vigilante. Now the plus side of String of Ears is you get a lot more defenses because the secondary passive on String of Ears is up to 30% melee damage reduction. You also get four primaries which are all going to be defensive stats whereas you can get the Vigilante belt and that has one primary that has to be CDR. So you get one less primary defensive stat and one less secondary defensive stat. So I sometimes use String of Ears if I want the extra defenses. Sometimes I use Vigilante. It's really a toss-up. The primaries that you want on your String of Ears are Int, which rolls up to 500, Vitality, which rolls up to 500, Percent Life, which rolls up to 15%, and Armor, which rolls up to 400. If you can't get one of these, go ahead and get All Resist, which rolls up to 100. And for both belts, you want your secondary to be either Single Resist or Pickup Radius. Your first ring is absolutely necessary for the build. It's called Ring of Royal Grandeur, and it allows you to get that 6-piece set bonus with only 5 pieces of Jade. Now, for primary stats, you're going to want Int, which rolls up to 500. You're going to want Socket, so you can get a Legendary Gem. Then CDR, which rolls up to 8%, or Crit Chance which rolls up to 6%, or crit damage, which rolls up to 50%. For the secondary, try to get a single resist. The next string you're going to want to use is Unity. Now, to use Unity, you need to have two of them, one on you and one on your follower. Your follower also needs to have the, the relic that makes him so that he can never die. What this does is essentially splits the damage between you and your follower, which effectively gives you twice as much toughness. Unity will always roll with Intelligence, crit chance, and elite damage. On a perfect unity, you'll be able to roll the int off and get either a socket, cooldown reduction, or crit hit damage. This means your best and slot primary stats are crit hit chance, which rolls up to 6%, elite damage, which rolls up to 15%, a socket for legendary gem, and CDR, which rolls up to 8%. If you can't get these, go ahead and get crit hit damage, which rolls up to 50%, or intellect, which rolls up to 500%. If you can't use Unity, then you're going to want to use a cold SOJ. For a secondary, you're going to want single resist. The next heavily debated topic is amulets. Now, there's a few amulets that you can use. Your best in slot is going to be a perfectly rolled Hellfire Neck, followed by a perfectly rolled Flavor of Time, and then followed by a perfectly rolled Immunity Neck. Now, you really want to worry more about the rolls on the amulet than you want to worry about the type of amulet that you get. For primaries, you're going to want Crit hit damage, which rolls up to 100%, then crit hit chance, which rolls up to 10%, then a socket for a legendary gem, and finally cold damage, which rolls up to 20%. If you can't get one of these stats, go ahead and get intelligence, which rolls up to 750. Secondaries and amulets are a little more interesting. For the stat, you want single resist. However, most amulets have a unique secondary. For the hellfire neck, it gives you an extra passive, which will allow you to use pierce the veil, which gives you about 20% extra damage, little less because it's additive with other bonuses like strong arm bracers, but it makes all of your spells cost 30% more mana. Now flavor time is good because it gives you an extra primary. That's 750 extra int, which is around 10% extra damage. Once you take into account the stacks from Soul Harvest and Gruesome Feast. Immunity necks are a great boost to survivability. They allow you to stand on things like fire chains or arcane sentry, depending on the type of immunity neck you get. The one problem with immunity necks are they are very rare. But now, let's talk about everyone's favorite, weapons. For anybody who doesn't already know, Furnace is your best in slot. And it's best in slot for a few reasons. One, it's a slow weapon. It has a 1.00 attack speed, which gives a much higher damage range. It also has a very strong secondary skill, and it rolls elite damage, which rolls up to 40-50%. to 50%. This is usually only a primary skill. But on the Furnace, it rolls the secondary. Also, as if it was a primary, it would only roll up to 10%. So 50% elite damage is a huge deal. For primaries, you're going to want Int, which rolls up to 1125. Damage, which rolls up to 10%. And Cooldown Reduction, which rolls up to 10%. If you can't get these, go ahead and get Stamina, which rolls up to 1125. And throw a Socket on there using Ramalani's Gift. 
For your secondary, you want life after kill. A furnace is a pretty rare weapon, so if you can't get that, go ahead and use Wrath of the Bone King. If you haven't found that yet, go ahead and use Sunkeeper with Toad of the Deep. Well guys, we just made it through all the items. Hope this helps you for deciding which piece of loot to use. Please rate the guide as it helps me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to keep you up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks for watching.